everybody, and welcome back to some more Pro Nuzlocker Learns Competitive Battling. In the last episode, I introduced the very first singles team that I have ever tried to create in the history of me playing Pokemon, for competitive battling purposes anyways. And I showed off that code for you guys to use if you're interested, and we had some fun singles battles. We made our way up to Pokeball tier, and had, I think, two wins and one losses, I think. Yeah, we had a pretty bad loss against another Whimsicott. And in the first episode, we fought a Cottony that kicked our butt, and then another scary Whimsicott. So we've had a lot of scary Whimsicott run-ins lately, so it's safe to say I'm terrified of Whimsicott. But today, we're not going to be doing ranked singles nor ranked doubles. We're actually going to be starting off with the Galar Beginnings competition, which is going to be a lot of fun. I've never entered one of these competitions before, and I have signed up for it a while back, so I am ready to go. Today's the first day. Uh, as far as I'm aware, you do 15 battles over the three days each for a total of 45 battles. Obviously, that's a lot of battles, and I don't really know how to cover this in a YouTube series, but I'm sure most people that are doing this are going to be streaming it, and if they're not streaming it, I doubt anybody's actually uploading every single battle they do. Do I think this will go well? It's going to take a while. I don't know how long 15 battles will take. This might be a super long episode, or I might not show them all, or I don't know how I'm going to handle this. I say we just jump into battles as quickly as possible and try and do them all, because I kind I want to document my entire experience of learning competitive but I also don't want it to take forever and not be fun to watch. So I'm not sure how I want to do this. Obviously, the competition period is from the 5th to the 8th. So it's been a little while. My rating is 1,500 because I haven't done any battles yet. Uh, I think that's how that works. I don't know. Uh, check regulations. Yeah, 15 times a day. Yeah, I want to do all my battles. I would like to go the, the max at it. So... We'll see how we do, see how long this episode goes. Let's we'll see how long, how many battles I get in in the first hour. If it's only half of them, I probably won't do them all in one episode. But let's just check it out. Let's go into battle, select the battle team. Um, this is the one I entered. Battle team will be locked once you register for the competition. I already registered. We'll be able to do things such as moving and trading Pokemon, swapping items. That's fine. Yes, singles battle spot is the team that I'm going to be using. Because I think it's three versus three. If it's not, this team wasn't made for it, but I mean, it's still competitive Pokemon, so it'll be the best. My team is now locked, and I'm ready to participate in this competition. Okay, let's do the gym leader music. Let's just try and get in as many battles as possible in this hour. See where we stand, and I'll figure out how I'll handle this in this series. But this series is going to be all kinds of competitive battling. Not just battle spot, not just versus you guys, not just six versus six. Not just doubles or singles. It's going to be everything. Official competitions versus you guys on my Discord server and Twitter versus maybe other YouTubers at some point. Uh, battle spot, singles and doubles, of course. I want to do everything and just learn by playing. Because obviously I already know a ton about Pokemon. Basically everything there is to know that's not competitive. So I want to just do this, learn from experience, and see what happens, obviously. So I think the best way to do that is just to battle and figure things out as I go. So this guy's first team, um, this looks like a Trick Room team. Um, he's got three Pokemon from my Trick Room team, and this is definitely a Trick Room team, yeah. So this is competitive Pokemon. This is a scary Trick Room team. I actually just watched Pokeames' video on how to use... Um, what is that thing called? Copperaja. So I've kind of, I learned a little bit about it at least. I know the Pincurchin and Hatterene. We need to cancel Hatterene immediately. And he doesn't have anything to guarantee Trick Room. I don't think any of those Pokemon get follow me. So we need to get rid of... Wait, this isn't doubles, is it? Is this doubles? If this is doubles, then I'm in big trouble because this isn't a doubles team. No, it's just three Pokemon. What is this guy doing? He using his Trick Room team? Um, how do I go about this then? Uh, let's lead Grimmsnarl with, oh, this is so, so tough. Uh, a lot of physical attackers. So let's go Eskew and then Lucario. 
Yeah. Sure. I don't know what I'm doing here. I was like, wait, why is this, this Trick Room team just, I think doubles when I think Trick Room. So I wasn't thinking fighting him singles. All right, we got Ruben here. Number three. What's up? I'm number 280. Of course, 280 or bust, honestly. All right, our first battle in the Galar Beginnings is going to be against this guy named Ruben. And he leaves with his Hatterene. I thought so. So he's going to go for the Trick Room. Um, that's why I wanted to lead with my Grimmsnarl here, because we have Prankster and Taunt. It's not going to be able to use Trick Room, and I'll be able to just end it here. Obviously, I'm weak to Psychic, but I'll at least be able to stop it from using Trick Room, which is probably what it's going to go for. So I guess I'm going to command a Dirty Harry here to taunt this Hatterene. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah, Prankster's going to act. I forgot about Magic Bounce! Oh my god, mine has magic bounce. What am I doing? Oh, I just messed up big. That's my fault. I don't I should have led with Lucario. I you learn from your mistakes. I'm an idiot. I know it has magic bounce. Mine has magic bounce. Um well this isn't good, so <laughs> I'm in big trouble. Um I'm in big trouble. <laughs> um I think my best bet here. Is to get rid of Hatterene immediately. Um, Grim Snarl is not going to be able to do that most likely, and I'll break. Yeah, I'll be one shot by um, Dazzling Gleam most likely here. But I think that might be my best play. Uh, and then go into Lucario and Bullet Punch and finish it off from there because of the damage Grim Snarl used to assist. Because Bullet Punch will still outspeed regardless of the Trick Room, and then figure it out from there. I think that's probably the best play. Let's go for Darkest Lariat. And wait, what? Yeah. Uh, special attack. Uh, let's do Spirit Break then. Lower its special attack. I think that's best for Lucario to come in should we not take it out with Bullet Punch. So obviously it's going to outspeed. He's going to go for the Dynamax here, which is kind of surprising. I feel like if he's going to Dynamax anything on his team, it would be something other than the Hatterene. I know they're capable of massive damage because I'm used to using mine and my doubles team, but not used to, not, not used to using it enough, but clearly, because I used Taunt on a Magic Bounce Pokemon. I, I know that's not how that works. Um, but yeah, I'll probably just die here. I won't even get to use Spirit Break. But that's fine. Um, yeah, I think I might just get swept by this Hatterene. <laughs> um, East U is no good here. I don't know what the Fairy Terrain does. I forget. And I don't want to look things up. My phone's across the room, so I'm not going to, I guess. I was going to look it up. Uh, so East Q's useless here. I think I just lose. I Just a big misplay on my part, and there's really nothing I can do about it at this point. Um, the best case scenario is I just live, but like, it's going to outspeed me. Does this become max guard? It does. And I can stall. I think that's the best play here. I think that's genuinely the best play. To max guard, maybe double protect. If I can get the double protect off, I'll be dynamaxed and it won't be. It might have mystical fire too. Mine does. So it'll be max flare. Let's just use max guard. I think my best chance to turn this entire fight around is to stall out the dynamax, stall out the trick room. If I can do that, then I'll be able to at least get a lot of damage off with steel spike. It probably won't be able to one shot me when it's not dynamaxed. And then what I can do is bullet punch when I go down to the dynamax. Get rid of Hatterene. The Trick Room will be gone. Hopefully the next Pokemon to come out will be physical. And I can sweep with East Skew. I think that's my best play. My only way out of the scenario I put myself in might be Double Protect here. So it's going to go for the Max Flare. That's its second turn of Dynamax. If I get the Double Protect off, it will be D-Dynamaxed. I will be Dynamaxed. And I should be able to take a hit. Max Steel Spike, Bullet Punch, take it out of the game. That's my best play. I don't have great odds. I've been backed into a corner before where Double Protect is my best play. And it failed me. Let's get some revenge, if you will, for that certain Pokemon. Come on, Thievius, the Lucario. Double protect. Not quite. That sucks. Yeah, that was my only route out. I might still take this Max Flare, but I won't be able to take another hit afterwards. Yeah, we did take it, so I won't be able to take another hit. But I at least got rid of the Trick Room. But the Sun being up... Well, got rid of the Dynamax, rather. But the Sun being up is going to put... East you into a situation where he doesn't survive. Uh, how many turns of Trick Room remain? One. Yeah, this is the final one, but they can just put it up again. That's so. That's tough. Uh, I can put up Max Hailstorm at least to get rid of 
No, I, I can't. Right, it's just going to outspeed me. Yeah, I got really cornered here, huh? Uh, if I'm able to get something off, I'd want it to be Max Hailstorm. Unlikely, though, but let's see what it's going to do. Yeah, just take out Lucario. That's fine. I'm in big trouble. <laughs> I'm just going to get swept by a Hatterene. I can't believe I did that to myself. Oh, uh, this is why I want to document it. So you guys can see my mistakes. Learn with... Maybe he'll, he won't go for the Trick Room. His best play right here is to go for the Trick Room. I don't think Mystical Fire one-shots me. And I won't break my Ice Face. Would I get enough HP back to Belly Girl? I have to. I just genuinely have to. Wait, maybe not. Maybe go for the flinches with Iron Head? I'm trying to think how I win this. Mystical Fire, if it uses it, I could survive Belly Drum. And I'd still outspeed and be able to sweep. But... That's probably my best percentage chance. Because, but then if I use Iron Head, it was, for, yeah, I would have to rely on flinches. I'm going to go for my best percentage chance to win the whole fight and Belly Drum. If it goes for Trick Room here, I just lose, but that's a chance I'm willing to take. Maybe he's just going to try and finish me off with Mystical Fire. That's the only hope that I have. If he goes for Trick Room, he's a smart player and knows that that's my, his best chance to keep me from sweeping. But with the Citrus Bear, I might take this Mystical Fire and be able to sweep him. Even in the sun, I know it's risky, but... Yeah, he went for the Trick Room. I figured he would. That was his best play, without a doubt. Yeah, there, I don't... I don't take this in the sun. I mean, we're about to find out, right? Uh, maybe his other Pokemon are physical attackers, and if I can take this thing out right here, hey! Let's just see. I'm in the sun. Mystical Fire's boosted. This is where we go, but maybe we can take it? No, we can't take it. It's fine. I messed up big, but I tried to... Tried to bring it back for us with the belly drum, but it didn't quite work. 3-0'd in my first match, but that was because I was an idiot, and I haven't played Pokemon all day. So, I, this is my first battle back today. We made big mistakes right away. We're going to continue battling. All right, let's get as many of these in as possible. I made big mistakes. Let's do the champion music. I haven't heard it for a while, not since I've beaten the game. Wow, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Watch this guy have a Whimsicott now. My my oh, biggest nightmare. Let's let's find out. No. This looks like an in-game team. Like it's not competitive. Lots of physical attackers other than Orbeetle and Charizard. I wanna lead Eskew. I wanna try and bring it back. Actually, this looks like a sweep for Pulte guys. Let's do that. Let's do... Rode him in the back for some backup. Um, and Eskew. Let's just try. Right? I want the Eskew sweep today. I have to get it for a bit of revenge, if you will, for my mistake. Taunting a magic bounce Pokemon. When I was said, hey, let's just lead Grimmsnarl, right? And that'll block Trick Room. I, part of me said, that's not going to work. No, but I didn't know why. Like, I didn't know what myself was trying to tell me. But, yeah, Charizard. I kind of figured it would be Charizard because this. I don't think this is a competitive team. I think this is an in-game player who loves his Charizard. But I could be very wrong. The team just doesn't look like competitive Pokemon. So, we Shell Smash. That's it. Like, we Shell Smash and win. That's pretty much what I'm expecting out of this, because I don't think these are competitive Pokemon. But I could be very wrong, and I could lose this one 3-0 as well. So let's see what happens. Yeah, Shell Smash. Flamethrow. Yeah, this is not a competitive Pokemon. There's no way. It won't even knock... It'll knock me down to my Sash. No, it won't. It's just not... Yeah, it's not competitive Pokemon. That's fine. You, you get some competitive guys, and you, you don't as well. Should we just Dynamax here too? Yes. Well, just in case. Um. And... The Psychic Terrain would be good for, like, priority moves. I think I should do that. If I don't knock this thing out, plus two with Max Mindstorm, I failed myself, basically. Um, but I want to get the Psychic Terrain up in case something has a priority move that I'm not thinking of. I know this is probably weaker than Stored Power, 
but I want to show off the authenticity stamp, and I feel like I can just shell smash Dynamax sweep him at this point. My sash is broken, unfortunately, but hey, he didn't hit me down to 1 HP and burn me, which would have been really unfortunate to see happen. Yeah, Max Mindstorm should definitely finish this Charizard off, unless it's sashed. No, it's not, so... Yeah, I don't expect to find all competitive teams at the bottom of the ladder because, obviously, you know, it's a fun tournament. Anybody can enter, like, kids with their in-game teams. Not saying this guy's a kid. You know, I probably would have entered with my in-game team. Excuse me. My in-game team, uh, if I wasn't, like, trying to get into competitive, you know, just for fun. Probably not because I know it's supposed to be competitive. But, I mean, it's not really. It's an official tournament. So, yeah, now we do this. My phone's ringing, you know, vibrating over there. And it was, like, going with the music. Like, doo-doo-doo. Like, da na 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 <laughs> But really slow. All right, he's going to Dynamax his starter. Bless him. He's in here with his Rillaboom. I'm not going to make fun of him, I promise. <laughs> oh, man. Please let me sweep. That'll be nice to 3-0 somebody back after I got 3-0'd because I'm not the smartest. I'm really good at Pokemon, I swear. It's just... I mean, I might not one-shot this. Bruh, not gonna 3 0. This makes me sad because he's gonna drum beating me because you know it's an in game Pokemon. No, he's actually going for the super effective hit. That's unfortunate. Pulte Geist goes down here. But you know what? We tried our best to do the sweep. But now, this is where. God, that, the Dynamax cries are so loud. But now we can just e skew it because it's a, definitely a physical attacker right here. We belly drum. We win. <laughs> Basically, unless I watch me miss with Icicle Crash. I will watch this be a special Rilla uh, It's You don't know what to expect from an in-game team. My man could be out here with Dark Pulse. or I don't think Rillaboom gets Dark Pulse. It's faster. I didn't consider that. Well, obviously it won't be. Yeah, there's your drum beating. <laughs> it's a drum beating turned uh, Max Overgrowth. That's fine. He's like, we got him cornered. We outsped him. But my man doesn't know about Eastview's ice face. Because it's going to break the ice. We're going to belly drum a little bit. And he's like, we've got him cornered now. But then I outspeed and win the game. Because we're a max speed Eastview. Who has maximum attack. He's plus six attack. And he gets some more health from the citrus berry. This guy's like, you know, maybe this is what's going to get it. He's just trying to have fun. I'm trying to commentate. Don't, don't, don't hate the commentator. Hate the game. Okay. And get your health back from your grassy terrain and bless him. And I'm not going for Icicle Crash. I will miss. We will go for Iron Head instead because it's almost dead. <laughs> I'm not missing with Icicle Crash. And then getting my East you knocked out and losing the game because Rotom Wash is weak to Rillaboom. Not having it. What else did you bring, bud? I mean, his username also was like the keyboard. You know, he had WASD or something at the end of it. So I used to have stupid usernames, too, when I was six. I'm not making fun. I'm just making conversation. And a Snorlax. Well, this would be unfortunate if it was... Um, I'm going to miss. I just know it. If, if this is Rotom Wash versus Snorlax, this is Kogon forever. Thank you for not missing. Yeah, that's, that's it. There we go. You're not taking that. My bud, are you kidding me? Hammer arm? Thank you so much. For not missing East, well, for not dying East, you I'd have been so sad. <sighs> How do you not knock out? I mean, maybe these are competitive Pokemon. I hope I can look at his team. Maybe they are, and he just likes to use cool stuff like I do. You know, we'll use Waterfall so I don't miss. I'm not risking the Icicle Crash. I refuse. Please attack. You lost. Just finish the fight. What's 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 the big decision here? Thank you. <laughs> uh, for a second, I thought that my dude had, like, a master plan prepared. Thank you for letting me take a win. Flappy Sadif, or A Sadiffy. A, a Sadif. It's like that poor girl, Absidy. It's unfortunate that that's a thing that's happened. How many minutes? We're 20 minutes in and then two matches? Oh, man. That's a long time for 15 matches then. All right, we're going to do... Marnie 2. Marnie 2 is always a good time. You can't really go wrong. My rating is 14.99. That's an oof. They're really going to hold it against me for that 3 0 start, huh? I don't know what this is, but I'm frightened. <laughs> the teams you see here. What do I do? 
I'm not gonna lie, this frightens me quite quite a lot. He's gonna lead with Surfetched. I'm concerned because I don't know if this is like a mastermind over here or or what. Um I'm concerned. Let's go for the Poltegeist sweep. Have the East U sweep in the back. Actually, let's lead Dirty Harry with my man Hypnotherapy over here. And then Lucario. This is probably not my best three to pick, but I don't really know what to do. This team is kind of strange. Might be my dude's in-game team minus his Inteleon in the PC. Right not. He's finished the Pokedex, so he's a man of taste. Maybe he's a shiny hunter and wanted to enter his prized shiny Pokemon into the ring. We're about to find out. Yeah, he did lead Surf Surfetch. I had a feeling. I don't know why. I just had a pretty strong feeling. That's not why I led Dirty Harry, but it works. Um, and... Two of his five Pokemon are weak to Fairy, so I should, what, just click Bulk Up Spirit Break at this point? I don't see what Surfetched does here. Let's click Bulk Up Spirit Break. Probably should have taunted in case he went for Sword Stance. Is this one of those moments where I learn a mistake? <laughs> no, Meteor Assault. That's going to deal a lot of damage. It's, it's like 150 base power, I think. My god, that was a crit, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Of course it was. Of course it was a critical hit! Of course it was a critical hit! I knew that was gonna happen! But he can't attack, which is his downfall. <laughs> uh, it's like Hyper Beam, but a fighting type attack, I think. Well, Giga Impact, but a fighting type attack, because it's physical. Alright. Poltegeist, Hypnotherapy. I win. <laughs> because he can't attack, so I've still got my Sash and a Shell Smash. Thank you very much. I don't see a scenario I lose here. Because what? Dragapult comes in next, outspeeds with Shadow Ball. And he's like, I've got him right where I want him. <laughs> the sash happens. All right, we stored power because it's going to do more than Dynamax. I'm guessing because of all the boosts. It's like 140 stab. That's a yikes, bud. Bye, Sir Fetch. <laughs> I had a feeling I was going to lead with Hypnotherapy, but I feel like what I did was probably better because... He did Meteor Assault, which tells me this is, in fact, an in-game team. Because I don't think in any scenario whatsoever it's a good idea to carry Meteor Assault on a competitive Pokemon. Or Hyper Beam or Giga Impact. Unless it's, like, a last resort move. Right? But, like, then why don't you just use last resort? <laughs> the funny jokes aside. Um, yeah, Sword Power does more. But I should just Dynamax here, right? I don't care. I got a Sash. We'll see what it's gonna do to me. Um, I can't... Th I don't know what Alchemy has. Never used one. I'd like to. They're cool. Oh, he went for the Dynamax. I probably should have as well. But I have a Sash. I can correct my mistake next turn. And I probably won't Dynamax, though, because if his final Pokemon's Dragapult and this thing breaks my Sash, then I'll probably need the Dynamax help with Lucario against Dragapult. Or I might just lose at that point. I might have thrown the fight by not Dynamaxing here. Depends on if this guy is an in game team or not. All right, yeah. Um, please be physical so I get weak armor. That'd be kind of sweet. If that's the case, I mean, I still have the Dynamax here. Yeah, I'll take the Sash. Thank you for using Meteor Assault the first time. Um, I don't know what does more. I don't know how Dynamaxing quite works yet. It was special, so it's not going to give me weak armor. So Stored Power is not getting any stronger. Uh, what? Do I, I should have Dynamaxed the first time. This might be bad. I probably should not. We're going to commit. But I should max guard first, right? Because then it's stalling its Dynamax. Sure, we'll max guard first. That way, um, it'll only have one turn of Dynamax left after this. I know, I know I could just knock it out, but if I don't, that covers my bases there. If it's final Pokemon's Dragapult and it has like Fire Blast or Flamethrower or something, then I just lose, but... Yeah, I should have Dynamaxed the first time. I wouldn't have one-shot it, but... Eh, I don't know. Yeah, alright, Dynamax, you're, you're big teapot now. You're gonna smash up everything. After you max guard, of course. 
Got a whole 2 HP now instead of 1. We're, we're moving up in the world, everybody. It has max flair. Okay. Um, That's bad for Lucario. If I don't take it out. I know it gets a little more HP with the leftovers, which is unfortunate. But if I wasn't going to one-shot it without the leftovers HP, I'm not going to one-shot it now. That lowers its defense. Yeah, we'll just go for Max Phantasm and Hope. I mean, we're Shell Smashed and Dynamaxed. I would like to think... No, we're not going to want... Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, the leftovers didn't matter. But at least its Dynamax is done now and I can bullet punch it. And it all depends on his final Pokemon. And it, it is also now Sunny. I lost the game because of a stupid move on my part. But well, say it with me, everybody. We're going to learn from our mistakes. <laughs> I should have had this wrapped up. I should have had it wrapped up from the beginning. I mean, I mean, Algrimi just has really good special defense, clearly. Like, this one must be competitively trained, specially defensive. All right, we got our life orb, Lucario. Be dumb and switch into Dragapult, thinking I'm going to use a fighting move for some reason. I shouldn't have Dynamax. I should have just used Stored Power again, saved the Dynamax for Lucario. That was my biggest fault, I think, uh, at that point. Yeah, it's got a fire type attack, so just get rid of it at this point. Switch into Dragapult. Switch into Dragapult. Nah. All right, it's just dead. That would have been a bad move on my, my dude's part over here, so. Be the bug. The bug would be bad. No, we could... I, mean, I don't know. Just don't be the Dragapult. What do I want to see here? It's Dragapult. <laughs> it's got a fire type attack. I just know it. And it's going to roast my Lucario. We have Ice Punch. Ice Punch Bullet Punch is my only way out of here if I live a hit. So, like, let's just click Ice Punch. Pray to the Pokem Gods. Phantom Force. I should have used Swords Dance. But we live a Phantom Force. Like, very likely, don't we? I Ice Punch, Swords Dance. Oh, well, Ice Punch, Bullet Punch, and we win. If we survive this Phantom Force. Which it could probably kill me if I get crit. Which is so likely. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Alright, Ice Punch this thing. Freeze it or something. Because I might not be in range to finish. Yeah, we're in range. We should be fine. The Life Orb! Is this going to be a tie? What if he has Protect? I don't think that activates the Life Orb. Please. <laughs> oh, please! If we tie because of that, I'll be so mad. Yes! Don't tie! If, oh, that would be so stupid. No! <laughs> oh, what a start to Galar Beginnings. Yes, I win that. Okay, I thought you win, but I didn't know for sure. <laughs> Thank God. I didn't, look, it both showed three Pokemon fainted on each side, too. Oh, I feel like Ash in the Pokemon League, in the... Pokemon League in the anime, like crazy, those weird battles that you're not actually expecting to happen. Yeah, I'm gonna keep battling. A draw. Can you believe it? 15 12! <laughs> That's unfortunate. We'll be the gym league. We need hype music to bring us back from the horrible battles I've been having. The horrible luck. Not really horrible luck, just bad play. We're fighting Roger. Roger and his Cinderace. No, he didn't. He has Whimsicott. No, I fear Whimsicott. All right, I know this. Whimsicott, Braviary. Oh, wait, it's not a double battle. Dummy. <laughs> I don't want to fight a Whimsicott. They're so scary. Um, what do I do in that case? I don't want to fight that stupid substitute thing again. I will be mad. Um, what, Grimmsnarl? Um, all right. We'll do Grimmsnarl. Poltygeist. For the Gastrodon, like Giga Drain or Max Overgrowth or something. Dracovish is scary. I'll give you that. Um, lots of physical attackers. Eskew. And then Poltygeist. Let's do it. I've committed. Bring it on. Roger. Number 15, 26, I think. What's his ranking? He's had some hard starts too, apparently. My man's been knocked down a peg or two. Lead, Whimsicott, let me taunt you. Let me watch you try to use Substitute. Let me giggle in your face and then hit you good with, like... Uh, yeah, what do I use if Whimsicott does lead? Spirit Break's my best play because nothing resists it. All right. So if I taunt it and it goes for a status move, if it's Whimsicott, number 69, my man is 
a child. <laughs> um, all right, what we got? Whimsicott substitute. Try to stall me out and waste my time, Roger. I beg of you. Braviary. Okay. And that's it's frightening because they're very strong. But I don't know what kind of status moves Braviary would get. Ah, uh, Dirty Harry. What do we do here? I'm not out speeding. Uh, I don't know what to do here. Who could I switch into? Nobody, right? Yeah, nobody's getting a switch in. So you're just going to stay. I'll bulk up. If he Dynamaxes turn one, hits me with a max air scream, or something, and kills me in one hit, I'll be kind of sad. All right, bulk up. It's going to Brave Bird me, probably, or something ridiculous. I don't know what Brave Bird you get. I'm about to learn. Tailwind. I should have used Taunt. <laughs> uh, I wasn't thinking, but that's fine. Um, We'll bulk up again. I don't know what else to do. Uh, Tailwind makes sense. I should have thought about that, but, like, Taunt's so risky because if I go for Taunt... All right, he's going to Dynamax now. That frightens me. Um, But, like, we're getting bulked up real good. I don't know how much damage it'll do to me when I'm plus two. I'm fearful for that, I'll be honest. Um, it's a Braviary. They're pretty scary. Um, watch him use Max Guard. That'd be that'd be that'd be perfect for me, honestly. Please. No, he's not. I'm gonna bulk up. And he's gonna hit me with a max airstream, getting a whole bunch of speed going, probably. Unless it has like something super effective. Act, yeah, max airstream. Okay, how much is that gonna do? Did a lot of damage! But it didn't do as much as you would think. It's going to get some speed. I'd like to stall out until the ta Tailwind peters out, but I kind of can't because if I use Bulk Up again, the Greed, I'll pay for it. Do I Dynamax my Grimmsnarl this game? I feel like let's do it. And Max Guard to stall him out some more. Yeah. And I get Misty Terrain or lowers target special defense. Um, That's not useful. A Misty Terrain might be. Uh, let's just Max Guard. Let's do it. We are getting into the defensive Dynamax. Because he's only going to have one turn left of Dynamax. I'll have two. And I'll be plus two attack and defense. Be able to take the Braviary out of the game. Unless he crits me. Which would be quite unfortunate. I'll be honest. But I would be able to live. And the Tailwind is just losing its turns. And that Tailwind is really dangerous. Especially if I get my E-Skew out with Belly Drum. Because even if the Ice Face is broken. It's Pokemon will outspeed me. Which is not good. Because of the Tailwind. Max Knuckle. I don't know what you're doing. That would not have killed me. That would have been... I don't understand. I get the attack boost, but, like, you're gonna die this turn. So, uh, I'm not really sure what your thought process is there, my dude. Um, yeah, we'll Max Starfall now. Uh, I would love to double protect, but it's so risky. Because, yeah, he just wants the attack raise to do more damage next turn. But I'm just gonna get that HP back from my... Please don't let the Tailwind go out this turn, because he could set it back up again before he faints. Oh, I'm so close. I was so close to taking it out. All right, Misty Terrain goes up. I don't know what this does. <laughs> um, That's the hard part. I don't. I can't look it up. My phone's across the room. All right, it's got a berry. Just a regular healing berry. Yeah, Citrus Berry. No big deal. Um, I'm getting some leftovers action. He'll be able to do a little more damage to me this time. The Tailwind went down, which sucks, because he's going to put it up before he faints. Um, oh well. That stinks. I guess did all that to stall out the Tailwind, but I should have counted the turns better and not did the Max Guard. Maybe he'll go for an attack. Maybe he'll just, like, throw it all at me with, like, a Brave Bird or something, trying to knock me out. No, he used the Tailwind, you loser. How dare you, knowing I can't taunt you while I'm big and beefy. Dirty Harry will make you pay. <laughs> uh, what a name, huh? I know it doesn't show my Pokemon's names, and I hate it. It makes me so sad. Show this opponent that I named this Pokemon Dirty Harry, so he can sit there the whole fight. He named a Grimmsnarl Dirty Harry. Why? Right? I just, I want that reaction from somebody. I guess you, you all know his name is Dirty Harry. All right, Dracovish. He kills me. <laughs> Big time. I mean, I'm plus two defense. Does he? I think, because, like, I've seen Dracovish one-shot, like, Toxapex. So, I don't think my boy Grimmsnarl, or Dirty Harry, excuse me, how, how dare I sin. All right, we'll just Spirit Break and pray. 
I mean, it's possible. Yeah, fish just ran. I knew it was going to happen. Come on, do it, Dirty Harry. No! Dirty Harry! Oh, you, you tried so hard! He would have ended that Dragovish's life. But you know what's brilliant? Do I outspeed a Dragovish at max speed with no ice face? I don't know if I do. I don't know if I do. Who's faster? Is the question. You're 134. You're 200. But, oh, double. So, 272. Right? 268. I'm, I'm not good at math. Excuse me. So, yeah, and it's going to raise my speed of weak armor. My best bet here is just pull to you guys then. Unless it has, like, something that can hit me twice. That'd be so unfortunate. I'd be so mad, but I could totally still do this. Unless I just can't one-shot him with all of that. Hit me with Ficious Rend. I dare you! <laughs> I don't know if the Tailwind will be enough. Yeah, like, I know it will be right now, but I mean, with the weak armor and the Shell Smash, there's no way it outspeeds. There's no way at all. Unless it has Aqua Jet. Does it get Aqua Jet? I'll be... So oh, mad. <laughs> All right, please. Hypnotherapy. I don't care if there's Tailwind. I don't know how much Tailwind actually does. It might double. I don't. I don't know. That's something I should know. But I don't. Unfortunately, the Tailwind is still going on. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm like plus four speed. Yeah, there's no way Tailwind does all that. But I don't think I'm gonna one shot it. That's a strong stored power. Hypnotherapy's a legend. Take that, fish. I don't care how overpowered Dracovish is. My teapot did it. I only needed like a whole bunch of boosts to store power. Please tell me this next Pokemon is not faster. Oh my god, it's the freaking Whimsicott. He's gonna stall me. No. Okay, if he's gonna stall me, I win if I switch into Eskew. I'm not letting him get up a... I don't have a choice. <laughs> if he goes for substitute, I just do not have a choice. No. Don't do it. No, the nightmare. Yes! No more nightmare, Whimsicott! It's sash. <laughs> I should have known that. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> if I lose this to a Whimsicott, I have to quit my channel. I have to quit my entire YouTube career because of a freaking puffball. I won't do it. I'm not losing another battle to fucking Whimsicott. I will not allow it. And I'm not missing. I'm not even going for Belly Drum. Just finish the fight, please. This might be a mistake, not going for Belly Drum. But, like, it's Special Attacker. I will be so mad. Just finish the fight, please. If it uses something stupid, yes. I don't die. There's no way. You go down to this Moon Blaster off the team. Thank you so much. Ah. Oh. I couldn't have lost that fight. I'd have been so mad. I'd have been mad. All right, you want to hear me? Honestly, I'd have been mad. I'd have been pretty mad. That was a good fight, Roger. I had a great time. His little face, you seen him? Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, what a fight. How many fights have I done? What, like three? In 40 minutes? I'm gonna keep going though. It's it's too enjoyable. Four. Ain't that something? Let's do Rose's music. I don't know what Rose's music is. I don't remember. We fought him one time. That's how many times? 15, 29. Why? Because my battles haven't been three O's? In my fault. Alright, this is like an interesting team. Flame Orb Milotic actually sounds nightmarish. Uh how do I end this fight immediately? <laughs> how do I just... Oh, yeah, he was like, this will be easy. <laughs> this team is, like, all combobulated. Um, how do I go about this one? I think we lead Rotom. I can burn a lot of things on this team. Um, Rillaboom is kind of unfortunate, but, like, what would be a good switch for Rillaboom? I mean, Lucario... But it gets so many weird moves. I mean... Um... Hmm. I 
I kind of want to bring East you. I mean, East you's all right here. Let's go East you Lucario. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really. I, that's a big flaw I'm noticing with this team. They don't work well together. Like, they're just, like, all kind of, like, solo players in a team game. That's kind of a good way to explain it. But it's my first ever singles team. I just kind of wanted to have fun with it. I'd like to build a team that works together real well. What? Tyrannosif. Nice. <laughs> um, no Mold Breaker, right? Yeah, just Sandstream. Which is a, this is, you know, a problem in and of itself. Uh... I think Dynamaxing Rotom wouldn't be bad. I can get rid of the sand. Um, boost Waterfall. That's about it. Um, But I want a Will-O-Wisp first. You know, he might switch. I don't know what he's going to do. Swords Dance, maybe? No, Dragon Dance, I mean. Either way, I'll cut his attack. And I can, like... Yeah, he's going to switch. Anything I burn would be great, for the most part. Unless it's the other Rotom, which I, I think it is. Yeah, that sucks. I can't burn it. Uh, good play. He probably saw that coming. Um... But I beat this. Why would you do that? He can burn me. Ah. Uh, I don't know what he's doing here. Like, light screen? Okay. I didn't know Rotom carried light screen. That sucks. <laughs> um, yeah, at least hit. Thank you for hitting that hydro pump. It should deal all right damage. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of damage, even through the light screen. Ah. Uh, Reflect, too, maybe? Oh, the sand put him in range of his berry. Oh, that might let him survive this. I kind of want to get rid of the sand, but, like, Tyranitar could just come back out, so. I kind of want to predict him switching and use Will-O-Wisp. I really want to make that play, but it's too risky. What was his team? But then he could switch into my Lodic. And that could Marvel scale, even though he probably has a Flame Orb. Uh, oh, I'm going to go for Hydro Pump again. Uh, I'd like to take out the Rotom if I can. Yeah, I knew he was going to switch in some form. Uh, his is faster than me. And it's not Specs or Scarf or anything like that because it used two moves. It's going to be my Lodic. That would be risky, though, because what if I was going for, like, I mean, yeah, it's a good play. Minotaur? Okay, that's great for me if we hit. Yeah, we did. Yeah, land those hydro pumps. All right, love to see it. It's going to hit through light screen, though, so it's only going to do half. So his whole team is weak to water. And it didn't have Mold Breaker. It has Sand Rush. What's it do? Well, his whole team is weak to Rotom. His whole team's weak to Lucario, too. Kind of, besides the Rotom. But, yeah, I'm going to Dynamax Max Geyser. I feel like that's just my best play. I, it can't one-shot me from here. I'm really bulky physically, and it doesn't have Mold Breaker, so it can't use ground-type attacks. I get rid of the Sand, um, which is good for my other Pokemon if he does knock me out in the turn after. And I'll probably just hit... Yeah, this would kill him through Light Screen because it's stronger than Hydro Pump, I think. I don't. Again, I don't know how Dynamax works with your stats itself. So, yeah, Dynamax up, Rotom. You got this. Come on, Boost Juice. Boost your way through this Excadrill. And... Tyrant, Tyrannosif, <laughs> this Minotaur, my bad. Uh, I think it's French, maybe, like Minotaur. I don't know what language this is. I'll be honest with everybody watching. But Rotom's going to boost Juice's way through. Yeah, we both Dynamax in here, getting big. Max Strike. It's like that gif of, like, that... That, that ancient guy, I don't remember what his name is, but he holds the thing, really. He's trying to see the little picture. It's like, what are you doing here? That makes no sense. Just shaking it. Yeah, that's, yeah, it'll live, but we get rid of the uh, sand. So it's not going to have sand rush or whatever its ability is. I don't remember. The one double speed or attack, maybe. I think it can have both. I don't remember. Um, and gets rid of the sand, which is good, because now I can use Max Geyser. And it'll finish it off even through the light screen because it's boosted from the rain. And it can't do anything to me. I'm a really bulky Rotom here. It can max guard. That's a, that's it. I don't really know what that accomplishes. 
His best bet here is probably to switch into Tyranitar and get the sand back. But, like, I'll just bring it right back down. The only thing he's doing is stalling PP, which I don't have max of because I don't have endless supplies of PP ups because I don't hack. So, and I don't think you can buy them in this game. Maybe with BP. I hadn't checked that. If you can, then that's a good way to get max PP. I just haven't done it. All right, take out this Excadrill. His other two Pokemon are weak to water. I'm in a really good position. I mean, I'm almost knocked out. My berry hasn't procked yet, though, because they nerfed him. Um, I think they nerfed when they proc, at least. But maybe the sand will put me in range, which would be perfect. So bring your Tyranitar back. I'd love to see it. I don't think I have any more turns of Dynamax, though. But if I do, I'd like to max guard. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what he's going to do. All right, it's going to be Rotom again. I think he takes me out here. Maybe. He's not specs or anything. Maybe he's just like, yeah, he definitely takes me out here. I'll just go for Hydro Pump again. I don't know. Maybe I'll live and take this thing out. That would be really good. Yeah, I should live a Volt Switch. Nah. Aw, oh, crit. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> that sucks. But I know who's coming in. And Lucario's got that. It's max speed Lucario. So I don't see a realm where I don't outspeed close combat. I can just close combat everything remaining. Right? I don't see how that Tyranitar outspeeds. So, send your Tyranitar in. Um, I gotta get rid of that Rotom, because that's the only answer he has left to my Eskew. Um, if I'm able to get Eskew Belly Drum, I, I win, unless he has that still. So, yeah, we'll go into Lucario, just click Close Combat. It'll one-shot the Tyranitar, most likely, unless it's Sashed. It'll one which doesn't matter at that point, because then Eskew can just finish it off. Um, so, what? Just Close Combat. That's it. Right? Yeah, max speed Lucario. It does not outspeed, but it probably has a sash. No, it doesn't. It's a stit. All right, yeah, this fight was lost for him. He had really bad Pokemon picked for this. Everything's weak to water. Uh, and I happened to lead Rotom Watch, which is perfect. Rotom did really well this match. He'll probably either forfeit here or just... Like, there's no way that Rotom outspeeds me. It's not Scarfed, and I'm max speed. So, it's just over. Yeah, I'm Jolly, 252 EVs. Like, I'm at highest speed you can get on the Lucario. It's just done. Yeah, just close combat. Because overheat's going to deal a lot of damage, obviously. Yep. That should one-shot from here. It's not a bulky one. It's more attacking. It was because it was dealing a lot of damage. Bye, Rotom. That was a good fight. Was, I 3-0'd him, which would bring my ranking up. I did not 3-0 him. I lost my Rotom, but I could have if I wanted to risk it, but I didn't. Yeah. 2, two how do you do, How do you call that? 2 owed? I think. Whatever. That's it. Boost my writing up. Come on. I deserve higher rating than 1,500. 1,544. How do they... Where do they get off? That's worse than people that haven't battled at all. Um, Let's do bead. Sure. I haven't heard beads music for a while. All right. Yeah, it looks like you can do seven an hour. So what? Six videos for the tournament? That ain't bad, I guess. That's like the same team. <laughs> oh, that Galarian Dyranitan is frightening. Toxapex is as well. He's definitely going to bring Excadrill and Tyranitar. I'm going to bring Rotom Wash again. It's like kind of the same team we just fought. Um, Lucario is good for everything, almost. And then I need an answer for Toxapex, which... Grimmsnarl? Lucario and Grimmsnarl here? Sure. Um... I don't have sweeper potential, but like Grimmsnarl should be able to cripple Toxapex. Especially if it's his last Pokemon, I can just taunt and then the game's over, right? I think that's how Toxapex works from what I have watched. Don't quote me. I'm not a, that good at competitive battling quite yet. I've never really done it. But I think Toxapex is just like recover and like stall. And if it's his last Pokemon and I taunt, game's over. Please don't be a Toxapex lead. All right, Aegislash. I was worried about that. Um... What does Aegislash do to Rotom? A lot, probably. But I'm physically defensive, so if it's a physical... I'm just going to try and burn it. Like, I don't see how leading Will-O-Wisp is bad ever. Ah, oh, I had to miss, buddy. You can't be doing that. That's, like, the worst. Uh, that lost me the fight right there. I think that literally is game over. That's that easy. Game over right there. It's very possible that that's just the end. Oh, that sucks. 
It's going to take two more Shadow Ball unless he crits me. Which would be really big insult to injury, especially after missing an 85% accurate Will-O-Wisp. I mean, luck happens. I mean, I hit with Hydro Pump, what, several times last time? Yeah, King's Shield. I don't... That won't make any sense. What physical attack am I going to hit you with? Oh, I swear. Ha! <laughs> Take that! I didn't know you could burn through King's Shield. What are you doing? You shouldn't... Like, it doesn't make any sense. Tell me the play that that was supposed to be. Like, he's standing there like, what'd you do? Why'd that happen? <laughs> Why, what? <laughs> I mean, I didn't know you could hit through that with Will-O-Wisp. He probably didn't either. Unfortunate. Um, and he's got an awful lot of Pokemon weak to water. Dynamaxing Rotom might not be my bad play here. Huh. I don't think that's the bad play. Dynamax Rotom. And maybe predict he switches into Tox effects? Well, that would be so stupid. I'm not... Yeah, let's do that. Let's be big brain. Let's be big brain right here. Because switches to Tox effects. That would be so brilliant. Imagine. Cause like, and, or if he switched into, um, oh, that would be bad if he switched into Excadrill, actually. I probably shouldn't have done that. But if he switched into Tyranitar, the thought was, I wouldn't one-shot with Max Geyser, but by doing Max Geyser second, I'd get the rain up after he switched, which would be great, because it wouldn't be canceled by the sand. Please don't switch into Excadrill. I regret my decision if you do. Thank you. Yeah, just Max Lightning this thing. Wow. Oh, right, it's in shield form. Okay, I was like, that's it, like... No damage. Why? <laughs> All right. What are we doing here? I probably should have max guarded, actually. And, yeah. I mean, how much is this going to do? Yeah, not much at all. Please don't lower my special defense. I appreciate that. Yeah. It was, I mean, it's especially attacking Aegislash. Why did I burn it? Don't ask questions. All right. Now he's going to switch into Excadrill. No, he's not. He's going to King's Shield. Okay. I guess, all right, yeah, Dynamaxing on Aegislash was a bad idea. He can just use King's Shield over and over again. Will I hit through King's Shield, actually, and deal, like, a little damage? Does it work like that with Protect? I think it does. And I'm going to get the rain up. So I guess it wasn't a bad idea to Dynamax here. Still going to do very, very little damage. This would be a good time for him to switch into Toxapex if he brought it, thinking I'll go for Max Geyser again. But what if I fake him out and go for Max Lightning again? Big brain. Should I? Does less. I have more to lose if I go for Max Lightning. Yeah, I have more to lose because he could go to Excadrill. So let's just do Max Geyser again. I don't, this Age of Slash is like doing little. Like very little amounts of stuff. Um, unfortunately though, I'm not dealing much damage to it. Hey, we crit! That's definitely a crit. No? Wow. It's just dead. It's a big Owen Wilson. Wow. That was like unexpected. That was just like a big roller coaster, that fight. Okay, who's next? B Toxapex. That would be nice, because then I get this Thunderbolt in the electric terrain. Probably does lo lots of damage. <laughs> Darmanitan. I'm in danger. <laughs> I expect every one of this guy's Pokemon to be shiny. And you know, half my doubles team is shiny, which. You know, those are those are legit. I hunted them. But, like, an entire team just screams fish. You know what I mean? But it, I'm not going to discredit the man. Oh, I want so bad to go for Will-O-Wisp thinking he's going to do some funny shenanigans. Like, yeah, if I get to attack, Will-O-Wisp is my best play. Because he's going to outspeed. So, do something. Nah, that's not what I meant. But, <laughs> that's not what I meant! I meant, like... Use a status move or something. This Darmanitan just wins now, right? He looks like a, like an alien Darmanitan. All green. I thought the shiny looked stupid on Cerebi, but it actually looks pretty good. Flutterby. Why? <laughs> Why'd you use Flutterby? Rotom, you cannot miss! My dude, you cannot miss! You cannot miss this will o -Wisp. Please! <laughs> the dude's seething! <laughs> Flutterby! Why? That makes no sense. 
I mean, did he not? I guess he might have ice, ground, and fire. And yeah, that must be his moveset. Ice, ground, fire, and bugs. So like the only reasonable thing, thought in his mind would be the bug one. Which I'm guessing is U-turn? Oh, he's mad. He's mad. Like he's seething right now. Now I Thunderbolt, because I'll probably live another one now that he's burned. Which, I know my attack, special attack's going to be minus two. But, like, I still get off another Thunderbolt. Uh, well, I get off a Thunderbolt right here, which would be great. And then Bullet Punch probably KOs from Lucario in that range. Oh, he's mad. <laughs> he's mad. He wasted his Dynamax worse than I thought I did. Oh, that's brilliant. I'm so happy. Actually, I probably should have Volt Switched for raiding. Gone to Lucario Bullet Punch. That probably was the best move, because Rotom would have stayed alive, but whatever. Uh, we'll go for the Hydro Pump, just in case I live for some reason. A little extra damage would be nice. Wow. he's He hates Rotom. The dude's going to get a poster of Rotom, put two X's on its eyes, and put it above his bed, and look at it every night from here on out, and remember this Rotom exactly. His Gar Darmanitan, the OP Pokemon that can win absolutely everything. It's going to D-Dynamax now, right? That better be its last turn. It used three. If not, I can't kill it with Bullet Punch. Come on, go down. Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Bless him. How do I win competitive battles? Let's use the most powerful stuff there is. Darmanitan's a good idea. Let's hack myself a shiny and enter the ring. <laughs> I can never lose. It's not over yet. I better stop myself. Please. Please. <laughs> Why? I'm going to take a flare blitz now. Ooh. Do I live that burn? I highly doubt it. But I'll trade my Lucario over your Darmanitan. That's fine. Even if we lose this fight. Because all I've got left is Grimmsnarl. Watch the prophecy come true. Toxapex Grimmsnarl. Let the prophecy come true. Toxapex Grimmsnarl. The prophecy! Yeah, they're all shiny. <laughs> the prophecy! Dude, if I taunt his Toxapex with like all status moves, he will rage quit. And this guy, I just have a feeling. Just got a feeling that he's hacked these Pokemon. Just a hunch. Not gonna call them out or anything, because I don't care what you do. Please have all status moves. And struggle yourself to death. <laughs> Could you even begin to imagine? Ha! <laughs> oh, I'm living! I know I'm weak. The poison moves. I get it. It might have sludge bomb. I don't know what they get. We're about to find out. <laughs> um, please be physical? That mood make no sense, right? Infestation. Interesting. I have leftovers. <laughs> if he sees the leftovers and the battle's canceled, it's going to be my favorite battle I have ever performed in, in the history of me playing Pokemon. It does a lot, actually. <laughs> but how much is the, the question is, how much does Darkest Lariat does? But I'm going to, he can't use Protect or anything like that. So let's, let's see. I don't want to keep using Bulk Up because I could throw the fight. How much does this do? Half. All right, we win. Unless it has leftovers or something, which is possible. It's a Toxapex. What do you expect a Toxapex to have? I don't know. I've never fought one, but I expected it to have status moves. Please. Yeah, it has leftovers. What, I just win now, right? Oh, man. The prophecy. I literally said, let's put Grim Snarl in the back just in case he uses Toxapex last. Look, he's like, I shook off the taunt. Maybe he didn't realize. I realize. <laughs> oh, man, that would be so bad, too, because, like, please. Is he going to protect or baneful bunker or something? He loses. The game's just over for him at this point. There's no way. If I lose this battle at this point, I have to never competitive battle again. His best move was to continue infestation knowing I'd go for taunt. Yeah, that was his best play because, any yeah, there, there is no way. This is fun. Aw, <laughs> uh, this is what I hoped competitive battling would be like. The prophecy. I literally called it. What a battle to have.
Now, I bulk up Darkus Lariat guarantees the KO at this point, and then the game's over. The only thing he can do is cancel at this point, or fight me out. You know, I would have respect. I like people that finish the battles. I'm not going to sit here and bulk up forever just to be mean. You know, I'm not going to... I want to finish the battle as soon as possible, too. I got things to do. Places to be. It's not fighting a shiny team. You know, he could be a shiny hunter that just loves his Pokemon and wanted to battle and have fun. X for doubt. Especially because you can't transfer Pokemon over yet. So, he's claiming he got all these in, what, three weeks? I've got a lot of them. But... They're not all on the same team. <laughs> all right, Darkest Lariat, call it a day. And if he cancels on the final turn, I'll be sad. Thank you. If you don't finish this off right now, Dirty Harry, I will be very upset. Bruh. Yes. Oh, that's a... That victory feels good. That feels like a good victory. He did not expect Max Flutterby to not KO my Rotom. Three hit points. Ooh. That was a spicy battle. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with that one. But we're going to call that an episode for the Galar Beginnings. In this episode, we ended up doing six of our 15 battles for the first day of Galar Beginnings. And I had a lot of fun. I don't know how I'm doing on Galar Beginnings quite yet. What's my ranking? Probably fairly bad. 1560. Oh, no. I'm worse than that. I'm 6,353. Yikes. <laughs> um, but I had fun. We got a lot of battles to do still. Um, I'm going to try and do the rest of the 15 in the next episode. And then we'll do probably four more episodes for the entirety of the gallery beginnings. But I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode too. Nice and long one. And if you did, a like is so much appreciated. It helps out a great deal. And let me know what you thought of the episode down below in the comments. Tell me what you thought of the battles. Tell me what it's going like for you if you guys are doing the gallery beginnings. And all that fun stuff. And if you're new and haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe. And, ooh, FaZe has got a... Yeah. I will do a Gigantamax Snorlax. Let me in. Please. Please. i never done one. And if you haven't subscribed already, I'd appreciate it. Don't forget to do that. Ring that bell. Be notified of all future uploads for the series and the channel as a whole. And until next time, I will see you all then. Thank you so much for watching.